Welcome to Community Taking Action, ABCD's program highlighting people and organizations doing great things in and around the Boston area. I'd like to welcome you to the show, and joining us today to talk about phenomenal programs is Katrina Shaw, the CEO of the Freedom House. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me. So there's a lot to get in. I think if we say Freedom House and those who've been around Boston, Roxbury, Grove Hall, are familiar with Freedom House, but I want to just get everyone up to speed. So let's take it way back and talk <laughs> about the, the origins of the Freedom House. So uh, Freedom House was founded in 1949 by two visionaries who were social workers, um, Muriel and Otto Snowden. Um, Freedom House was responsible for a lot of firsts in our community. As you know, back in that time, a lot of people were um, coming into Boston from um, from their own experiences, um, whether it be coming from a Southern experience or a Caribbean experience or what have you. And Freedom House really did uh, present a place for communities of color to be able to really fight for social justice at the time, um, mainly through education, and was responsible for, like I said, a lot of firsts, a lot of integration in terms of the police department. Um, Mecca was founded in Freedom House. A lot of really? the meeting, yeah, I a lot of the a lot okay. of the meetings around um, integration of Boston public schools, which we all lived through, um, started there um, at Freedom House with lots of conversations with uh, with parents. So we're very proud of our legacy, our history, and we're really excited about the future as well. And yeah. What have you been doing in Since that time? Then? Yes. So um, we've been doing a lot, actually. So we had a very ambitious strategic plan um, that we started about four years ago, three mm -hmm. and a half years ago, which was really to accomplish two things. Um, at the time, Freedom House was serving about 250, 300 students. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to grow to serve a thousand. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, we wanted to um, complete our capital campaign. Um, which was, like I said, to provide a new state-of-the-art facility for Freedom House. Um, and since then, we've grown to serve over 2,000 young people annually, mm -hmm. yeah, unduplicated. Um, we have grown in our partnerships. We have several partnerships with local universities and colleges where we send college coaches into those universities to coach our students um, for success. Uh, we have programming at Freedom House, which really focuses on um, active citizenship and social emotional health. And we also have partnerships with local high schools, mainly um, Snowden and the Burke, where we also send coaches into those high schools, helping them to boost up their um, college going rates and expose students to opportunities um, where they get to see not just new things that they, new uh, potential careers, but they get to see people who look like them in those careers, so it makes it kind of a reality. So I'm gonna just pause and go a little bit into what you said. Two yes. of the, the bullets that you just went over involve coaching. Right. So why, why and coaching how? and how? Yes. Well, we really try to do with coaching is put um, near peer, younger um, professionals who have, um, who can relate to the experience of our students, who they can talk to, who help them to manage the various aspects of, of their success. How do you measure, how do you know things are going well in right. that for that student and with that student mentor coach relationship. Right. So at the end of the day, obviously, students are doing well if they are graduating from high school, graduating from college, and they actually have developed an active citizenship mindset of kind of giving back. Because Freedom House has always been about giving back. Mm -hmm. So helping them to understand not only are they there to receive something from the school and, it's, and, it, and it is their, um, their right and their responsibility to advocate for getting that, but also helping them to understand that regardless of their situation, regardless of what they feel like they do or don't bring to the table, they always are in a position to give back to the community or to someone else. But there are steps along the way, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you know that the, the relationship with the coach is lending itself to that? I think we do it in three basic domains that have a lot of detail that fall under those things. So the first being academic, are the students doing academically well? Um, the other piece is, are the students being exposed and are they becoming active citizens? Are they discovering their voice? Mm -hmm. Do they have a social justice lens? Mm -hmm. Do they have an uh, understanding that they are connected to something that is greater than them? And is that empowering them to move on? And how does that manifest in their life? And then the other thing is uh, social emotional um, and other kind of human factors, which include everything from relationship supports, financial supports, um, uh, food, just basic needs. Do the students actually have these things or are they in a situation where these things are becoming barriers to their, um, to their education? And so being able to check in on a regular basis with a coach 
allows us to quickly go through that. And it's not a checklist. It's kind of like a relationship, the way that you would check in with someone. But you should know that in the background, from a Freedom House uh, standpoint, we're really serious about outcomes. And so our coaches are having these relationships, but they really are keeping track of whether or not students are struggling in particular areas and helping students to get the resources to help them overcome some of the things that they might be struggling with. What part along the educational process do you want students to come. I imagine they can come at any time, junior, right. senior, sophomore, freshman. So it's very interesting that you say that because one of the pieces um, that we started to do very differently when I came to Freedom House was to um, expand back to the um, freshman year mm -hmm. of high school. Mm -hmm. um, we had previously been really working with um, high school seniors and then trying to get them into, into college school, and right. then working throughout college. But what we realized is that you don't start thinking about college when you're a senior. I mean, that's too late. If you do, it's too late. Right? <laughs> right. And so we really started to go back and to really work with high school freshmen around understanding your competencies. What are you good at? Visioning, what do you love? Yeah, what is right. your vision? Yeah. Exposing them to careers and people that, you know, that we never really think about because we don't know that career exists. Um, so that by Isn't the, that fascinating? It is fascinating. And it's just wonderful because it allows them to understand that, you know what? I don't have to be a doctor or a lawyer. God bless the doctors and the lawyers, That's nothing right. wrong with that. But I might have a skill set that lends itself to something completely out of the box, right. something that I have not even thought about. And now I've met this person who now helps me to understand that I'm good at this and this is something that I will enjoy in life. So helping them to have those real conversations with people. And then um, by the time they are seniors, they're not kind of telling me, well, you know, Katrina, I want to be a lawyer. Yeah, but you hate to read. How's right. that going to work out? <laughs> and so I think being honest about that without being judged by it, like what are my honest strengths? What do I really love without being judged for the things that I maybe am not great at and I don't want to become great at? That's right. So being Work able to have strengths. those, right. So what does the future hold for Freedom House? Yeah. So I think that that corridor is going to be an exciting place for people. Um, I think that um, it, it will hopefully be a reminder to every young person and every adult, every senior that, that really walks in our community to celebrate and support our young people to really realizing the best of their possibilities. You have a new building going on. I walk by there we and it's do. very exciting. So <laughs> yeah. how far in, in terms of completion are you from completion? So we're looking to be finished in March. Really? So it'll be sooner rather than later, right. and we will definitely send you right. an invitation love to come, love yeah, to come for the open and, house. And check it out. Yeah. Very quickly, how does someone get in contact with you, whether for coaching, as a student, or someone who wants to send that check, send some love? Right. So you can definitely do all of these things via our website, which you can kind of connect to individuals and email them directly or even give a donation, which is uh, www.freedomhouse.com, not dot. Or it's not dot org. It's a dot no, com. It's dot com because there is a free. There's an international Freedom House that's dot org. So they should get dot that out. com. <laughs> <laughs> they do great work, so I I don't I don't fight against them. But um, so freedomhouse dot com, or you can give us a phone call at 617-445-3700. Yeah, or and a walk in the door at Crawford Street, <laughs> right at the corner of Crawford and Warren. Well, I look forward to hearing more and more about it. We should certainly schedule you to come back on the program. Maybe we'll squeeze in a student or a coach or someone. Oh, that'd be awesome. But it's, it's been fantastic, and yeah. I've certainly been looking forward to it, and I hope our audience enjoyed it. Thank so. you so much for having Thank me. Yeah. That concludes our program. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you've missed any episodes, you can find them on YouTube. Thank you for watching Community Taking Action. I'm your host, Eric Mitchell. Until next time.